What's going on, guys? We're gonna start making our keto bread, right? black aprons keto bread. What I have here is hazelnut flour. Right, this is about one cup of hazelnut flour. We're gonna pour that in, just like that. This is gonna help bind everything together. Next, we're gonna add baking powder. Gonna help it rise. Gonna add that in just like that. All right. Then I have a mix of unsalted and garlic butter. Gonna mix that in like that. All right, the bread is gonna sit in that room temperature, so we can break it down real easy. Mix everything up real good. Smush everything down you know, nice and crumbly, just like this. Smush it down. Smush, smush, smush. Smush and mix. Smush and mix. Now this is Black Aprons version of keto bread, low carb, no wheat, no gluten. If you have gluten allergies, it'd be perfect for you. All right, we're gonna keep mixing, mixing, mixing. We want it nice and crumbly. All right, keep mixing, keep mixing. All right, guys. Now, when you got it like this. Right. You're gonna add in egg whites, gonna agitate them a little bit so they're nice and fluffy. Put the egg white in. Alright, and then you're gonna mix again. Just so you guys know, there's three egg whites from three brown eggs. So mix, mix, mix. Mix, mix, mix. Alright, guys. So. Everything is nice and together. You see it's nice and fluffy. But since the eggs were out a little bit and I was whipping them like my life depended on it. I'm going to put this in the freezer so that it's nice and cold. We're going to sit in here for about 10 minutes. All right, guys. Uh, after putting your uh, mixture in the freezer, it should be like this. Pretty solid, right? You're going to... Get a cookie sheet with some parchment paper. You could use a spoon. I'm gonna use an ice cream scooper. Right? And we're just gonna scoop up some. Just like this. There we go. Right there. And we're gonna pop it down. Bomb. There we go. And that put it nice together, nice and neat. Alright guys, now that we got these all set, we're going to put them in the oven for between 10 to 15 minutes at 350 degrees. Make sure you guys keep an eye on them. They're not overcooking or burning. We'll pop these in the oven. Alright, so it looks like I <laughs> maybe need to add a little bit more bacon flour or maybe the hazelnut flour isn't doing it. So it looks like I got keto cookies instead. Nice and brown underneath. We're gonna see how they taste, um, but I'm gonna let them cool first. All right, y'all, let's see if we can turn tragedy into triumph. I got the cookie here. Let's try it out. They're pretty good. Nice, buttery. Not bad. Let's go. go. But for you guys, I'm gonna use the almond flour. I'm gonna find a guinea pig. 
kid who wants to try my uh, sample of the recipe. Alright guys, until next time. Keto cookies slash keto bread. There you go. Just like and subscribe.